Welcome to the Gridiron Weekly and our 2021 draft preview. Now we've studied quarterbacks. Over the next few weeks, we're going to look at the guys that are paid to defend them. That's cornerbacks. And we're going to start with my number one prospect of the position, a surefire top 10 pick in my opinion. That's Pat Satan Jr. of Alabama. Six foot two, 207 pounds, son of a former All-Pro. His dad was Patrick Satan of the Miami Dolphins. So let's get down to Tuscaloosa and take a look at what makes him so special. Before we get to the action, let's take a look at what the scouts are looking for. Outside corner, slot corner. Obviously, slot corners slightly smaller. So Tan is obviously a boundary corner. Now, two things. Is he a man-to-man -man or is he a zone corner? Very much do what they say on the tin. Man-to-man -man covers, man-to-man, -man, a zone corner covers an area. So Tan is a man-to-man -man corner. It's very much a press corner right in the face of, of the receiver. And scouts are really looking at size, at physicality, at footwork. Very important. Has to have very busy feet. Change of direction skills. You'll see words like sticky hips transition how do they transition when they're moving very quickly at pace and also click and close or the ability to drive on the ball when a receiver turns and the ball is coming towards them they're back pedaling how quickly can they change direction put their foot in the turf and drive forwards obviously tackling very important as well but in terms of cornerback skills you are looking very much at those hips the feet that's the things that the scouts are paying attention for so let's take a look at satan so two things to show you very quickly at the start of this and talk about what i've just mentioned Sertan, Jamar Chase, Bolitnikov award winner, top 10 pick at worst in next year's draft. Sertan gets very physical. You don't see it very often at, in, at the college football level, but right at the snap, he gets very physical in Chase's face, using his arms, using his body to get in the way. And what it does is throw off the timing for, for Joe Burrow. So we'll press play. It's very quick and nothing really happens. It doesn't involve them, but you'll just see Sertan getting his hands all over Chase as the route develops. And in a minute, we'll look at patience. There he is, hands up, gets his hands on inside the five yards. And that's really what you're looking for as a scout. Very important. Satan gets his hands on the receiver and disrupts the route from the start. So we've seen physicality there. What about patience? Really important for a quarterback. And what I mean by that is at the line of scrimmage, he's faced on in man coverage. What he doesn't want to do is lean forwards towards Jamal Chase, leave himself off balance. His hip turns inside. Chase can move past him, swim past him, and he's got three, four yards on him and an almost certain completion and potentially a touchdown if the coverage is right. What he needs to do is be physical with his hands, as we saw there, balance with his hands, but he also needs to be patient. He can't be grabby, he can't be pulling at, at, at the receiver. So we're gonna show here an example, again, against Jamar Chase, of just how patient he is at the snap of the ball. That's very important, a big tip for scouts. Let's take a look. So we play the tape again. Referee runs out of the way, Joe Burrow there. Here they are again, look, watch what he does. Just so patient, little, little sidestep, gets his hands on him again, and then is absolutely glove-like down the field. That's really important for a young cornerback, Pat Satan Jr. I'm going to show you three plays back to back. I'm just going to let them run. First against LSU 2018. Here he is at the top of the screen against Justin Jefferson. Just watch what he does. Burrow again at quarterback. Knocks the ball away. You see it on the replay though, which is the more important thing. Look at the way he's patient there. Gets his hands, forced him to the outside. Is he going to look back for the ball? A little bit of hand fighting. Turns back for the ball, knocks it away. That's a great play by a freshman. Here against Kellen Mond again. See it in full speed and then you'll see the replay. Patient interception. It looks like Xavier Howard against the Patriots. The way he just sits in Courtney Davis's pocket and picks it off. Again, you'll see from the replay here, return skills as well. Knocked out of bounds. There he is there. Little back pedal, smooth, turns his hips, then stays on Davis. Great interception. And then here against Donovan Peoples-Jones. Watch him work Peoples-Jones on the replay out to the sideline. Peoples-Jones, six foot two. This is what you want to do as a cornerback. You want to move your receiver to the boundary, to, to eliminate the space that he's got to work in, and that's what he does. Looks back for the ball, physical, and then knocks it away with those big, long levers that he has. So we've seen him be physical. We've seen him be patient. We've seen his ability to run down the field, his ability and coverage. What's he like against the run? Obviously very important in the modern NFL. He's six foot two, as I said, 207 pounds. What are you going to see here against Arkansas? Stack formation. Engage here. He's going to be able to rip off the coverage of Cade Pearson and make a tackle on Raheem Boyd. Let's, let's take a look. Here against Arkansas, here's Satan, stack formation here, Cade Pearson, Raheem Boyd in the backfield. What's gonna happen, he's gonna fight through Pearson, take Boyd down for a loss, and that's exactly what you're looking for here. So again, press position, explodes up into Pearson, sees with great eyes, releases, and Boyd is a big man, forces him out of bounds for a loss of yardage. So you have Patrick Satan Jr., my number one corner in the draft, and hopefully I've been able to show you why. Long, physical, patient, gets his hands on receivers at the right point, long speed down the field, really good short area quickness, which means that teams can see him as a versatile piece that can play inside in the slot as well, obviously as outside a boundary corner. You can never have too many good corners in the NFL. FSU scouts say that they remind him very much of Jalen Ramsey, which is a huge praise. And obviously 
with the bloodlines from his father, the all-pro corner of the Miami Dolphins. I think Pat Satan, best corner in the draft, potential top 10 pick, could easily go higher. Uh, I think he's going to be a really, really good player. You look at Marlon Humphrey of the Baltimore Ravens, Alabama, has developed into one of the best corners. I think Pat Satan's ceiling is that high.